Good morning, guys. It is first thing in the morning. I just got into the studio, turned all the lights on, which is like my favorite part of the day. I'm not exactly sure what I want to do today. I don't have anything I'm like burning to paint. I keep looking at this painting over here and thinking I want to give that a go again with like a different arrangement. So I thought the first thing I would do is set up a new still life over there. I'm kind of tired of the things that are on it right now. I'm just kind of wandering around the house and looking for things that inspire me. We have some oranges that were horrifically bad and instead of throwing them out, I think I'm gonna throw them onto my still life. I think I wanna put some things up here on my board for inspiration and then just, you know, whack some things in. I just wanna kinda keep playing with that concept of just putting things in where I think like just intuitively they go and where it feels fun to paint and then take things in and out. I, I think that's gonna be for that type of painting for me the best way to go because I think if I have a whole drawing and get everything all perfect, I won't be taking things in and taking things out, if that makes any sense. I think I'm gonna take everything off this table except maybe the fork and knife and the binoculars because I'm still having a ton of fun painting those and maybe these things these garden shears those have been really fun to paint too but I think everything else I'm just going to take off I've already got some things from the kitchen waiting to go on there yeah so I'll just go into the kitchen snoop around look in the pantry I don't know sometimes I just walk around the house and I'm like ooh that that would be fun to paint and I'll plop that on the still life table. I'm not gonna try to like arrange it nice because I don't want to like paint the things. I just want to have some inspiration so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh no. I lost my orange rolled under the couch. Hazards of still life set up. Now it has dog hair all over it. Whoops. As I'm looking at the still life and I see that I've got some yellows already going on, I've got some pink and green. I don't like things to get too, too, too terribly colorful, but I also am looking at height. I need some higher stuff. So I've come over here to my little area and I immediately think, oh yeah, this is a shape that I don't have on there. Oh, can I get him out one-handed without breaking anything? I like the little bit of blue and the shape, and that feels like that probably wants to go right here. And then I step back and assess. I'm getting a lot of stuff on there. I do need to remember I'm not setting up like a for real still life. I'm not gonna try to like arrange it nice. I'm just putting things on there that want, I want to inspire me. And I remember something on the island in the kitchen I want to go get that I think will be perfect for right here. And then I'm gonna probably just call it quits. I am standing where I would be painting and looking at it I think I'm gonna make a couple minor adjustments. <laughs> like, I really don't want these things pointing out. I don't want anything pointing out of the still life and I wanted those to be just a little bit different. Okay, from here, that looks pretty good. Probably when you see whatever I paint, you're gonna be like, you spent that much time on that still life. Cause I did go back and forth. I put several plants on there from around the house. I didn't really like anything. Sometimes I just, you just know it. You know, you put it there, you go. And you just go with your first feelings about it. If you have to be like, uh, I don't know, then that's, it's out. So I just put things that I think, ooh, that would be fun to paint. It's like the lighting's perfect. and. The sunlight energizes me to paint, so it should be fun. I'm gonna do a big one too, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm set up back there, I've got my still life. I'm gonna use my golden matte fluid acrylics for this painting. I'm gonna set up the camera and let you guys see some of this painting, which means that it probably will not turn out well. But that's what I do here, bring you guys along for the good, bad, and ugly, goofy, silly, wonky, all the things. All right, I'm ready to get painting. 
I've got my painting references all up there. I'm loving this area, guys, because I'm able to like just layer stuff up. I mean, at some point I'm going to need to clear it off because it's going to get too thick, but I've got these super, super strong magnets. And so I can just like put them up and put them up and put them up. And so that's been really nice. It is getting a little crowded and complicated to see what's what. I just kind of need the references. My still life right there. I've got all my paints ready and my granny's palette that I've been using and enjoying. So I'm going to get to it. My nice, big, flat, white page. I'm going to go tackle it. She's generally a very open person. On the podcast, she talked about the struggle with postnatal depression, and by her doing those things and being open in that way, she has helped so many people. She has. This is literally all I'm going to do for my sketching at first. I think I'm going to really just take this in layers. I need to get that whole just rug done, and you may feel like well, then that's going to waste a lot of paint because I'm going to be putting stuff on top of it. But there's a building up that happens when you do it this way that I really, really like. I just can't put it all in yet. I get way too overwhelmed. I can't be as free with my brush strokes. And so I just want to be able to not have to like cut around table legs or table or whatever. I just want to put it in. So, and then I'll also put my plug in. That feels like a good spot for my plug, which I'm sure that will move too. I'm going to just start building it up and just enjoy the process of painting and freely, freely, painting. At this stage, I also like don't have to get the colors like exactly correct because so much of it's going to be covered up. Sometimes I make choices about my colors at this point depending on what's on what I still have left on my palette because I know so much is going to get covered up at this stage. Man, it's really fun guys to paint like this. felt quite certain until I picked up the camera that I did not like this kind of watermelony red or pink that I did. But looking in the viewfinder, I'm like, maybe that looks good. So I'm just going to leave it for now. I need to let everything dry and figure out what I want to do next. So I've definitely decided I do not like this bright, weird pink. So I'm changing it and you may think, oh no, waste of paint, that stresses me out. Parts of it will be saved. You will see parts of it peeping through. That's what's really fun about this process. I've also switched brushes. I'm using a hog bristle just to get some different marks and it just felt like what I wanted to do this afternoon or how I wanted to like apply the paint. I'm actually like really tired of working on this rug. I'm ready to get some other stuff down because the still life is exciting me that's over there. All right, guys, here we are in hot mess land. I've been doing a lot of drawing with my paintbrush. You know, just making marks. When things start getting too confusing for me, I'll have to just like pick some things. I, you can't even see anymore. I had a chair here, then I said I was gonna do a whole lady. That didn't go well, so then I've got a bowl of fruit here my oranges from over there. So I put some things down and then what I'll do is just the things that I really, really like will stay. But then all these marks stay in some ways. Oh, I also had a cat. Can you see the, had the cat on the chair, but that didn't go well either. I did put in an alligator down here instead of a lion. I think I'm gonna keep him because he's pretty cute. Maybe that will be like the theme, like the animal is under the table. Uh, of course, he's only under the table in that one and the others, he's a little too big, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, because it's feeling very messy, I think I wanna start whopping in some things that feel like, oh yeah, I definitely wanna do that. Maybe put some things on the table. I may paint some of these faces and see how that goes and just keep, you know, you know, just doing it. <laughs> 
I forgot to tell you about this. So I've got, I've been making a bunch of paper cut out things for Christmas decorations. And I taped this guy up here for inspiration. I think I want to put him in some place, but here's what's probably going to happen. I'm going to forget he's there and forget to put him in. Here comes Grady to help me. <laughs> he's trying to help me get a bottle undone or opened. Did it work? Always. Oh, good. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm back for an update. You can already tell that my alligator is too dark, I think, for right now. But that's okay. He needed more layers anyways. But guys, I had so much fun painting his teeth. Oh my gosh. It needs, some of them need some more layers and some of them look rotten, but that's okay. The whole reason I painted him was to do his teeth. I actually think his face could have been longer too. Maybe I'll extend his nose. wonder if I should. Yeah. And then these faces, guys. I'm not done with them, I don't think, but they are so much fun. And I just decided to do some really weird, just fun faces. And then like, so here's how painting a background first. So I didn't paint the inside of her glasses that yellow. It's just from one of these things, but like, I love it. I'm not going to give her eyeballs. Yeah. Unexpected funness. Yeah. I'm going to just keep carving away until I know I need to take a break. And I am going to play around with these some more in here too, if I remember. And I actually need to get my bird in real quick before I forget to. Maybe I'll have him flying over here. I don't know. I was just thinking it'd be fun to give him a nostril, maybe. He needs bigger nostril than that. Jeez, he's a crocodile. Guys, I'm just dipping my, well, first I licked my finger and was doing this, but then I didn't want to keep re-licking that, so I'm dipping that in my water. It's, the brush made it a little too dissolving away. My finger's working good for this, just kind of changing the texture up in some of the places. I feel like this is like the most fun I've had painting it in a, well, maybe ever. I mean, wow, it's turning out really good, and then adding these, like, marks right here are just ooh, fun. Now what's going to happen though, because I'm not going to finish it today, is that then tomorrow when I come in, if I still really like it, I'm going to feel precious about it, which just kills everything. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this bowl. I don't, yeah, I haven't decided. I'm pretty certain I'm going to get rid of that guy and I need to build this up. I've still got the paint. I think I'm gonna call this for the day. I keep kind of saying that and I keep working on it, but I really do need to call it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what I think about this when I come in in the morning. I decided to take this guy out and I'll probably have to put another layer or so, but like there'll be parts of him that will still 
be there. And tomorrow I may go, oh, that's perfect the way it is right there. So I still have things to do, but I need to just take a break. I'm getting tired. Guys, I'm a mess. I can't even believe I'm jumping on here. I wish I had the camera on. Granny just came in here and I was like, all right, the lions are out and the crocodile came in and he was like, uh-oh. So he came in here to look. He could tell I was having a lot of fun. Anyways, he looked at it and he was like, whoa. And then he was like, there's a lot going on there. But then the more he looked at it, he liked it, I think. We'll see. You know, I may come in here tomorrow and be like, but I don't care. Guys, that was so much fun. I mean, I'm having a blast. Blast. I mean, I don't even care. But I did want to show you this. Okay, so this bowl, remember, was basically like, the you know what was on the base of the like this rug i was trying to decide what color to make it so there was some of this yellow part and i just kind of painted around that i left that it was just it just happened and then i was like ooh, i like that maybe i'll even paint some more polka dots and maybe i will but i may just leave that i kind of liking just that one we'll see guys i mean super fun it's a little weird i hear i hear you i hear you it is a little weird but it was super fun so we'll see i don't know and i'm gonna just tell you what oh my gosh using these wax pastels whoa 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 so much fun so much fun Ugh. Time to clean up all this mess. I mean, usually I don't mind, but I'm pretty tired. Uh, okay. Good morning. Good morning. That's all the words I know to that song. I don't usually know a lot of words to a song. I usually know about five words. You need to say good morning. Mm -hmm. Thought I would bring you guys along for opening the studio this morning, which that only just means like turning the lights on. And thought we would assess the painting together that I did yesterday, or that I started yesterday. I definitely know I have more work to do on it. And that we would just like do that together. Let's go. those on and last but not least at the end of the day yesterday I was like oh no the, the bird I forgot about the bird remember I said I was gonna forget about the bird who was right there in my face and I forgot about him I thought oh I'm gonna tape him the painting was dry by that night so I taped him I've been moving him around I need to take more time this is really quick we were like working on dinner I was running in here and taping the bird different places so I've got this bird cut out I've got him turned around um, because I wanted him facing a different way than the side where I actually like drew on him so I want to get that placement right and then I think I may even just sketch around him because I like the size I think then paint him in and I know from memory from last night or from yesterday that the crocodile needs some more work I want to put some of the dark back in and we'll see what else okay so let's look hmm. okay man I am real happy about some things yeah I definitely need to bring some dark back in here with the crocodile and then look there's my bird what I'm gonna do is tape him in different places and look in my mirror backwards that's really the only way to be able to tell I didn't want him flying out of the painting. That composition with the tail and wing on there would be nice. We definitely, that would not be a good compositional move. We want him coming into the painting. I'm gonna look for tangents. If I put him right there, that little beak touching the table, that would be what's called a tangent. And I've got some other tangents going on. Like, I mean, it kind of looks like this guy's neck is sitting on the table. I don't really mind that tangent. Sometimes they stick out to me and other times they don't. So I'm gonna play around with that today. And I do think I have some more work to do on this chair. I think something over here needs to happen. I'm not loving these shapes right here back there. I don't care to spend a lot of time on this today. I want to do a couple things and then move on because I don't want to overwork this. I don't want to overthink it. I want it to keep its looseness, its vibrancy, but I'm really happy with it. I'm really excited. Yesterday was such a fun day. That could have been the most fun I've ever, ever had working on a painting. This type of painting that I'm doing, the way I'm doing it, I I've been working towards this for years. I've wanted to paint in this way for so long, but I haven't had the skills in figures, in value, because this type of thing you really need to know value, pattern painting, and not getting overwhelmed with a whole bunch of things going on, with knowing what I like and what I don't like. There's just a lot of skill level that goes into this type of painting. It looks very easy and it looks like a kid could do it, but I'm just gonna tell you, those kind of paintings and those kind of artists that paint in this way, and they do it well, 
it's not easy and it has taken me years and years to be able to get to this. I'm not there yet. Like these I don't think are sellable paintings, but you can feel it when you're getting close. When you're like, okay, I am seeing some progress and it's exciting. And I think one of the ways that you can tell too that you've made some progress with your art skills is that you're able to enjoy the process of painting or drawing or whatever better because you're not so like, oh, am I, is this going to be good? Like you just have some confidence, you know, you can do some things and you can let go some. I feel like I'm on the brink of like a really fun season of painting. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to bring you guys along too because you guys, it's kind of weird to me that painting on camera like this has actually freed me up. I don't know what it is because it seems like it would make me tighter because I, I think early on I worked really hard to fight. Ooh, I need to show everything perfect and I want them to like what I'm doing. I need to only show good stuff. I kind of got over that really quick because there would not have been a YouTube channel because I just don't paint many like finished good sellable paintings. You guys have been so encouraging. It fuels me to keep painting in this way and to have courage to show you guys what I'm doing. So thank you guys. Y'all y'all are just so kind to me. All right, well, I'm gonna stop blabbering on and on and on. Which, Granny's in the other room working. He's probably like, finally, thank you. <laughs> I think now that I'm looking at it some more though, that chair, I don't know that I'm like in the chair. And then sometimes those things just have to stay because I'm like, I don't know what else to do with it. And maybe in a year I'll like it. Or maybe in a year when I look at it again, I'll know what to do with it. Right now I don't, so it's staying. But that crocodile, he makes me happy. Those teeth. All right guys, I'm gonna get to work. That bird is not working. Uh, I'm painting him too tight, so he's got to go. Bye bye, birdie. I feel like I cannot get my crocodile back to normal or how I liked him. I feel like he just keeps getting worse. So I may even have to just paint over his face. I don't know. I just feel like I can't get him. So I'm gonna paint around him and try to get a little loose. So the bird's gone, it's still wet a little. Yeah, it's driven. Now I'm thinking maybe I'll try putting a cat here. It needs something. It's way too like weighted to over here. It's like gonna topple, so it needs something. I just don't know what yet. So I'm gonna just kind of keep playing. See how you can still see the bird a little. Some of the marks that I made are saved here and here. So that's just how that works. I mean, look, I just noticed too, like the lady that I first sketched, look, there's her legs poking out, which is so cute. Just those marks like stay. So I'm gonna just, I, I thought I'm gonna look up some cat stuff or some artists that paint cats loosely. And I thought, I know what a cat looks like. I need to not get too tied up in it. Kind of want to make it looking like it's under the table, looking at the crocodile. I don't know that I'm that skilled, but I'm just gonna try to, I'm gonna sketch it in with this. And then if I feel like I want to paint it in, maybe, but maybe I'll just leave the sketch. So here we go. There's gonna be a lot of air drawing. <laughs> I have a feeling, because I don't wanna make the cat too big either. Oh boy. Y'all are like, maybe you should have looked up some stuff, Sandy. The thing is, is that like everything can go. You know what I mean? Like, oh, what if I make his tail go into the plug or be the plug? 
What would his tail be doing? Feeling certain I'm not gonna like this. Every time I do cats, I always feel like I get something drastically wrong and I never know like what it is exactly. There's something with their face. I, oh man, jeez, oh jeez, it's getting bad. Okay, that's working better than the bird. I'm gonna just leave that and go have lunch here in a minute. But just because I'm gonna sign this does not mean I feel like this is like finished and something sellable and a masterpiece. It just means like I wanna just go on and get that down because I've got paint that I've used someplace else and so it'll work with the whole painting. I'm feeling pretty happy with Mr. Kitty and his little face and his little claws are so fun. Okay guys, this was a load of fun. I'm going to just let things dry. I'm gonna come back after lunch. Everything will be dry. Here's the deal though. There, if there's something that just feels glaring or feels like I can accomplish that, like I can put a mark down to fix whatever, then I'll do that. But more than likely, I just need to move on from this painting and start another one because I'm feeling very over it. People ask sometimes like, how do you know when you're done? I don't really know. I just, I think sometimes when I'm like, or feel pretty happy with it, I feel like it's pretty, most of the stuff is fixed. This is bothering me some where that guy's beard is, but I don't know if it's because I know that that's a beard and I still can see his face. I think if anybody else saw it, they wouldn't. I may ask Grady to come in here and tell me if there's anything that's glaring because sometimes he has fresh new eyes and can tell if there's anything, any issues or like, this looks kind of weird or ooh, this looks like something inappropriate that you don't want on there or something like that. <sighs> Lots of fun. I am ready to start another one though. I'm ready to like get on with it get on to the next thing. That's sometimes how I know I'm done. I'm back from lunch and I immediately can tell like at least this part of the cat needs to be filled in a little more and then I'm going to call this baby done because I'm ready to get started on another one. Somebody needs some love. Oh goodness. Okay, I did end up pulling Grady in here to look at the painting with me. I think he likes it though. He had a big smile on his face when he came in here. It makes me smile too. I'm gonna take the tape off now, which is always so fun. I'm always glad when I do some tape around it because it has a nice edge. And don't even think for a second that I like measure or do it carefully. And you'll see that it doesn't matter. Like your brain tells you that it's straight and all even. I do try to be a little careful, even though I like this tape, it's an automotive tape it still will sometimes like tear the, not tear, but not anything that you would ever like really be able to see. I just can tell it will tear the paper or take the top layer off or something. Some of my favorite bits are these little markings on the alligator. And strangely enough, I love just these little spots here. I lost some of the color in the bananas. Here comes, you know who, because he hears me talking to somebody. Could be, I'm starving mom. I feel like I haven't eaten for hours. All right, back to business here. Ooh, look at this. Can you see that? Ooh, I love the speckledy there. That got, that was nice. I already mentioned this. I love this dot in that blue. I kind of wanted to go back to and make this a little more solid and not so transparent, but I'm just going to leave it. 
I'm just gonna leave it. I love how the little legs are right there. I mean, that would never look like legs to anybody after the painting is finished. I do think it's so stinking cute. So happy with how the cat turned out. I love how the plug turned out. This guy, I mean, there's just a lot I like about it. You can really see how bits that you take out, if you don't take the whole thing out, how it just becomes part of the painting. So, you know, this is where the bird was. I love those little bits of colors. It gives me some background without me having to think about it. Or, you know, this stuff up here, the guy you can you know, you would never know that that was there if I didn't tell you that there was a guy, but now that I tell you, you know it. I love these fun figures in the back. I don't love how it looks like their heads are sitting on the table. There's some tangent kind of stuff going on. I'll do something maybe a little different in the next painting. I still feel like this guy's kind of dark and it's showing up even darker on camera. I made him light and I didn't like it, so I went back to dark and it's just that, but Oh, I'm loving the cat. I'm definitely going to be putting some more cats in. And this ended up kind of turning out looking like a bird cage, if you ask me, which would have been appropriate with the bird. I think I should title this. I never title my paintings anything, but I should title it something like the bird got chased off or something like that. I'm the worst titler in the world, people, or who scared the bird off, who chased the bird off. I don't know, something like that. All that noise is that big and right over there. All right, yeah guys, so there it is. I'm super happy with it. It makes me smile. Is it the best painting in the world? No. Does it make me happy? Yes, I think it made Grady happy too. He had the biggest smile when he came in here and saw it and looked at it. I, I just, I love that. Do you guys remember how this video started? With me spending all that time setting up the still life? Probably when you see whatever I paint, you're gonna be like, you spent that much time on that still life. So I want to put some images here to remind you what that still life looked like so you could see and be reminded what I did with the still life and how I used that in this painting. Having something in front of me that is inspiring and then picking it apart and just using parts of it in the actual painting. I just thought that's how we would end. I would remind you how we began. I hope you enjoyed this one because I loved painting this. It was so much fun and editing this video inspired me to want to stop editing and go paint. So I hope that it has inspired you. I hope you'll go jump in the studio or your kitchen table and go do some painting. And until next time, I will see you guys real soon. Bye guys.